This is Daily Mass Readings and Reflections for March 14, 2022, Monday of the second week of Lent. First reading is taken from Daniel chapter 9, verses 4b to 10. Lord, great and awesome God, you who keep your merciful covenant toward those who love you and observe your commandments. We have sinned, been wicked and done evil. We have rebelled and departed from your commandments and your laws. We have not obeyed your servants, the prophets, who spoke in your name to our kings, our princes, our fathers and all the people of the land. Justice, O Lord, is on your side. We are shamefaced even to this day. We, the men of Judah, the residents of Jerusalem, and all Israel, near and far, in all the countries to which you have scattered them because of their treachery toward you. O Lord, we are shamefaced like our kings, our princes, and our fathers for having sinned against you. But yours, O Lord, our God, our compassion and forgiveness. Yet we rebelled against you and paid no heed to your command, O Lord, our God, to live by the law you gave us through your servants, the prophets. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm Remember not against us the iniquities of the past. May your compassion quickly come to us, for we are brought very low. Lord, do not deal with us according to our sins. Help us, O God, our Saviour, because of the glory of your name. Deliver us and pardon our sins for your name's sake. Lord, do not deal with us according to our sins. Let the prisoners sighing come before you. With your great power, free those doomed to death. Then we, your people, and the sheep of your pasture, will give thanks to you forever. Through all generations, we will declare your praise. Lord, do not deal with us according to our sins. Verse before the Gospel Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. You have the words of everlasting life. Gospel of Luke, chapter 6, verses 36 to 38 Jesus said to his disciples, be merciful, just as your Father is merciful. Stop judging, and you will not be judged. Stop condemning, and you will not be condemned. Forgive, and you will be forgiven. Give, and gifts will be given to you. A good measure packed together, shaken down, and overflowing, will be poured into your lap. For the measure with which you measure will in return be measured out to you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today's reflection on the readings. In the first reading of today, we find Daniel crying out to God. He is caged in Babylon because of the sins of the nation. He is described as a thoroughly righteous man. It might have been easy for him to distance himself from his people, but he identifies himself with them. Repenting, we have sinned, been wicked and done evil. We have rebelled, and departed from your commandments and your laws. We have not obeyed your servants, the prophets. We are shamefaced even to this day. We, the men of Judah, 
the residents of Jerusalem, and all Israel near and far. In all the countries to which you have scattered them because of their disloyalty toward you. O Lord, we are shamefaced for having sinned against you. Yet we rebelled against you and paid no heed to your command. O Lord, our God, to live by the law you gave us through your servants, the prophets. Here, Daniel, who is a humble, serious, and devout, addresses God, in which he gives glory to him as a God to be feared and as a God to be trusted. In our life journey, we too should, in prayer, look both at God's greatness and his goodness, his majesty and his mercy. In today's Gospel reading, Jesus says that what we send into the lives of others will ultimately come back into our own lives. When we give, we will get back. If we give more to the needy, then we will get back more from God. If we send out to others love, kindness, compassion and forgiveness, then we have God's promise that it will come back to us from God. Judge no one and you will not be judged. Condemn no one and you will not be condemned. Pardon and you will be pardoned. Be merciful just as your father is merciful. It is an invitation for us to be sensitive to the needs and feelings of others and to be generous in giving, loving, and be charitable in dealings. Jesus speaks of an important principle in life, that is, we receive what we give, we reap what we sow. So it is we who decide the measure that we should like to receive. So let us be generous in doing good to others, then we will receive in the same measure. Prayer. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. Lord, we thank you for your merciful heart. Lord, make us new in your spirit, that we may keep on sharing our blessings received from you freely to others freely. Living together under one roof of the sky and in our earthly home, may we reform our lives and live by our faith in Jesus Christ, thus making a better place and community wherever we are planted. May Almighty God bless us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.